talking about evaluating expressions. To evaluate expressions, we use substitution to solve the expression when given the value of the variable. For example, 3x plus 4y minus 2 if x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 2. We start by using substitution to replace each variable with the value we were given. So x equals negative 3 and y equals negative 2. Remember, when you have a number next to a variable, that means you will multiply. These parentheses are also another symbol for multiplication. So 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, and we bring down the minus 2. Next, we go in order from left to right because we have both addition and subtraction. Negative 9 plus negative 8 is negative 17, and negative 17 minus 2 will give us a final answer of negative 19. For our first example, we have 3x minus 2y plus x, if x equals negative 2 and y equals 4. We start by substituting. We're not solving anything yet. Again, remember that 3x equals 3 times x. Remember that when you see a number next to a set of parentheses, this means to multiply. I put a set of parentheses around this number because it's negative and there's a plus sign in front of it. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 2 times 4 is 8 plus negative 2 at the end. Then we need to use our integer rules to go from left to right. Negative 6 minus 8 is just like negative 6 plus negative 8, which would give us negative 14, plus negative 2 will give us negative 16. For our next example, we have negative 2ab plus 3. If I have a number next to two variables, this all means multiplication. Negative 2 times negative 1, so this time I use the multiplication symbol instead of the parentheses, and times negative 6 plus 3 at the end. So we just multiply from left to right. Negative 2 times negative 1 would give me positive 2 times negative 6 would give me negative 12 and then plus 3 would give me negative 9. For our next example, we see parentheses. We want to first start by substituting 4 in place of n. Remember, with the order of operations, you want to do the parentheses first. 4 plus 5 is 9, and we have our exponent. The next thing we would do, according to the order of operations, is our exponent, which means I need to do 9 to the second power, which means 9 times 9, which is going to give us 81 times 3 to end our problem. 81 times 3, or 3 times 81, is 243. And for our last example, we'll have 5c to the third power if c equals negative 2. So remember, this means multiplication. But we have to remember to do the exponent first. I see a lot of mistakes where people will multiply before they take care of their exponent. So I want to do negative 2 to the third power. So negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Now we can multiply negative 8 times 5, which is going to give me negative 40 as my final answer.